Welcome to the Magic of Medicals podcast. I'm your host, Buddy Abrahams. And I'm Terry Allen. A show about the moments that changed people's lives forever. Welcome to the Magic of Medicals podcast. I'm your host, Buddy Abrahams. And I'm Terry Allen. And today we have a a new dear friend, I suppose, because we've only known each other this year, but we feel like we've known each other longer. We have Martine Haddad from Lebanon, uh, who I met um, when she came on one of the the Balanced Child Children courses with Daniela. And um, Martine is actually uh, coming live from Lebanon, and she is uh, in the jewellery business with her family. So uh, they make beautiful pieces of jewellery. So thank you for joining us, Martine. And... uh, yeah, it's really, um, we wanted to invite you because of the uh, the unfolding of, since really, I think, introducing you to angels back in February, you sort of had one thing happen after another, which when you were telling me about them over since February to now, I was like, oh my God. Um, and so we really wanted to invite you on uh, to you share that. and to basically the reason why I wanted to share was because I think people feel that a divine moment or a little divine miracle moment has to be something woo, that happened once in your life. It's not. They happen every day, all day in magical little ways. And that's the reason why we wanted you to share it. And, and especially from Lebanon, your part of the world where <laughs> some people can be a bit doom and gloom there and 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 that's without a judgment it, it's an observation and obviously what's going on there that you have turned uh, that energy around uh through using your angels and and brought that light into your life so we really uh are pleased that you uh put your nerves aside and, and wanted to uh join us and 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 share the unfolding um of your journey just in the last uh march april may june yes. four months yes. that's it you know, so it's it, it's for everybody. So uh, thank you for joining us, darling. And uh, it's all yours. <laughs> thank you for having me on the show. And um, it's been really interesting these past few months because I feel all I'm doing is talking to people and trying to tell them what's happening with me because I'm just so excited about all this positivity that I'm feeling. And um, I mean, it's been quite a drastic change for me because mm. I used to live in Dubai before and um, it's a completely different country, different system, different people, you know, everything is different. And ever since moving to Lebanon, like, you know, it just started getting heavier and heavier and I felt, felt I'm just dragging me, dragged down and deeper and deeper and deeper. And um I mean, even at the shop where I work, people would notice I'm always off and like in a bad mood or, you know, and I always thought it was them, not me. And, you know, I couldn't understand back then that it was me attracting all of that. Like a lot of negativity would happen in the shop, which would sometimes I'd cry. Sometimes, you know, I'd leave upset. Like there was always something negative happening. And I didn't understand back then that it was maybe me attracting all of that to myself. So a few months back, um, when I did the workshop with uh, you and Danielle, uh, mm-hmm. it was the first time I met you, and then I got introduced to the to your books, Magical Garden, and uh, my magical tree, you know, and it, it all just started like, you know, I just started thinking and wondering, like, what is this and what's happening and you know, what's this all about? So we did that whole course, which was the first step for me to like, whoa, like, something's happening here. And then after that, I did like a, I did a session with Danielle, the RTT session. After that, um, I started noticing um, like how badly my children were affected as well. After like moving here, my husband was deeply affected as well. And in the past, like a um, couple of years, we've had a revolution in Lebanon. Yeah. We've had a huge blast, which I'm sure everyone's heard about, which happened last summer. And on top of that, we had Corona. So yeah. it was just all a bit too much, you know? And I'm, I started seeing like, how can I help my kids? Like, whoa, you know, everyone has this anxiety happening and the house, the energy in the house was like, everyone's shouting and screaming and fighting. And like, it was just too much to handle. Yeah. 
you know and i remember back then i asked danielle if if you did sessions with children you know i i thought my children needed help so i reached out to you and uh, you met with my daughter first my youngest one um and then i was a bit surprised that after you did the first session you told me you wanted to meet with me you know and it like slowly i i didn't understand at first you know but after we did all the sessions like i i understood what you were trying to say because i remember you told me that if you are anxious and you are upset and you are all these things naturally i'm reflecting that on my children on my husband on you know ev everyone around me basically so it took me time to understand that but like day by day by day it just oh okay i get it like you know it <laughs> just like i, I yeah. just started understanding things and then everything you would tell me i would immediately want to go and do you know i'm like i need to i need to change this you know and if it's me that needs to change then i need to change because i can't keep my kids going through this anxiety they wouldn't sleep at night and especially after the blast although thank god we we're like so lucky nothing happened to our home just one of our big windows flew out of its place but we weren't home at the time nobody physically got hurt and like really like now when i look back i believe how we do have angels around us because my the shop i work at is in beirut and we wow. had just left about 15 minutes before the explosion. Wow. So wow. our shop was destroyed, the glass. Like if we were oh. inside, I'm sure we would have been cut up with the, from the glass. We would have been in the hospital. It would have led to so many different other things. Did so you we leave on lucky. time that day or did you, did you leave earlier? No, we actually stayed a bit longer than usual. Oh but still left earlier you know uh, the, the timing when the blast happened so we were on the road when it happened my children were at my parents house it was just crazy that day so my kids after then wouldn't sleep at night and mm. were crying and they get up i'm scared i'm scared i'm scared you know so anyway so after meeting with you um started learning about angels it's funny like i've heard of angels but it never I didn't, I never really connected with them or thought that I'm sitting with them or, you know, like, it's just, oh, you know, angels are there, but not with me personally. So as well, I did a workshop with you and Natasha, and yeah. that was where I met my guardian angel. And it was just really amazing. I mean, while we were like, when we started that session, I was like, how am I going to see anything or like I was still doubting, you know, but then I did see my angel and it was just like, I was, I'm like, okay, that's it. I'm like, I went and I bought Himalayan salt lamps and I, you know, I started uh, burning sage in the house. And, and I think one of the main things was the, that you taught us to go out to nature, yeah, take a walk at nature, just, you know, be out and from that time i made it a point to be out every single day i mean also we have a dog so we would take the dog for a walk but i started running and i started like doing all this new stuff that i wasn't doing before uh, i would try to drag the kids out for a walk because of course after being in lockdown they don't want to get out of the house their school is at home everything's online every you know they just don't want to leave anymore so uh, for me, I felt walking in nature made a really big difference, although you don't really understand that it could until you actually do it, you know. Uh, and I remember we took a trip. We went out to an area called Tenurin and we stayed there for the weekend. It was Easter weekend. I remember that. And uh, it was just beautiful. It was just mm. trees and flowers. And we were just walking around with the children, it was just us four. And um, I just wanted to be out, you know, and uh, things started changing. I started talking to the kids also about angels. We were doing your books, My Magical Garden. Uh, I remember at the shop as well, like um, if I felt I was starting to get off, you know, I'd, I'd excuse myself. I'd go to, you know, to a place where I can sit just for two minutes, just like recenter myself. Uh, you know, I started learning as well from you, the cutting cords and the protecting your energy, you know, to be in the bubble and everything. And to me, 
I, I felt it was like magic, honestly, because... But when you were in the nature, I remember you sent me, wasn't it a big um, statue of Archangel Michael? Yes, yes, yes. Wasn't there something to... that you yeah. were asking for and then you came across, if I remember rightly? That, that's, that's the thing. I, I had never really heard of Archangel Michael. Like, it wasn't a thing in my life, you know. Maybe I've heard of it, but it never stuck in my head or anything but after meeting you and like being introduced to archangel michael i was driving up the road and then my husband uh, uh my husband points out to the statue you know and i'm and i'm like asking him I, i'm like is that archangel michael because for me also in lebanon we have different uh, religious statues you know oh. like uh, i don't really see much of angels so and it was in specific archangel michael and then he just turned the car around i'm like i need to go back to the statue please you know <laughs> and we went back i took pictures of it and it just looked beautiful you know the blue sky behind it and everything and even when we reached that hotel we saw like a tiny church up the mountain and we just walked all along the path oh. and we found this little small very small church it was even closed and then I reach up there and I find a tiny Archangel Michael statue up there. And I'm like, what's going on? You know, <laughs> like that's for me when it started happening. When it I did, started, yeah, I remember. Being, yeah, because yeah, I messaged you. I was like, what are the chances, you know? And um, I mean, ever since then, like every other day, something here would happen or something there would happen. And I would drive in my car. Like for me, I used to have anxiety while driving here. Like driving here is just crazy. And you never know if you're going to make it to your destination and come back home alive because it's just that crazy, you know, driving in Lebanon. So I learned how to, uh, like, handle my anxiety. Um, you know, I remember your words telling me, like, uh, you know, you need to acknowledge it, not, like, try to be like, oh, you know, just no, 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 I'm not feeling anything. No, okay, I'm feeling it, and it's fine, and I'm okay, and nothing's happening to me. <laughs> and then you kind of let it go, you know? So I learned how to just create this bubble around myself, like all this craziness is happening around me in this country, and I'm still laughing, and I'm full of energy, and I'm hyper all the time, and I'm happy all the time that even at the shop, my customers started noticing. Like before, I remember they would always be like, oh, why are you upset? Why are you upset? Wasn't there a customer once that really came in and give you a specific message? Yeah. Was it, was it a guy that asked that you mentioned something to you and that sort of, we have to probably yeah. acknowledge him as the first knock of awakening for you? This was, uh, yeah, this was a while back. The, the, this, no, this guy was telling me that I'm attracting all this negativity. You know, so it just stuck in my head, his sentence. I'm like, what does he mean? I'm attracting it. Yeah. I'm not telling the people to fight with me or be rude with me or, you know, like I couldn't understand mm. what he said, but that was like two years ago and I couldn't understand that it's stuck in my head. Yeah. I think sometimes people don't understand when, when we carry a, a certain vibration, we attract that's on that vibration. And obviously what you've gone through, you've changed the vibration around you. It's like changing the, the, the radio station, frequency. the frequency you've changed around you. And that kind of brings in a different vibration, a vibration yeah. more of joy, a vibration of happiness, a vibration of, of giving all these magical moments. But I think also she's, you know, and she's going to, you know, unfold a bit more because I know that you've got more, but um, it, it, it's a way that, the way you change your frequency and your mindset in a in a space of, of five, five months yeah but also in the environment that you're in correct so it, it's allowing people to hear this to know that they can change the frequency they're on even if it's in an environment of chaos definitely and confusion um that it is a repeated pattern of many types it's and just like yeah, you know, it's just by you. It, for me, if I can do it, I think anybody can do it because I was really doom and gloom. That's you, you, you were very, um, well, obviously you were asking the universe for a huge shift and you knew it and you were calling out for it because for you to move so dramatically quickly, 
uh, in the way that you did was that your soul was really calling you. Otherwise, it wouldn't have it wouldn't have done because it's still it's down. Whatever anyone tells us or we read or we meditate, it's again yeah, it's always down to, to us. It. Yeah. And then, the and then what started changing in the sharpening your family life and your husband and you and yeah that's the thing like when uh, when we did those sessions with you um you you met with my little one then with me and then with my older daughter and then the last session i thought would be for one of the kids and then i'm like no we are four people in the family i think the last session needs to be for my husband and I didn't know if he was in that place because I had already started shifting my energy mm. and I was already on another, like we weren't on the same page and I don't blame him, poor thing. He was so frustrated, so angry. It's just really hard to live here, you know? And I remember the day before uh, Buddy did the session with uh, Sean, the last session, I was telling him, I said, listen, we have one more left. Do you want to do it or should, you know, our daughter do it? And, uh, and I think, I, I don't know why he's like, he's like, yes, I want to do it. And I'm like, listen, cause if you don't want to do it, it's pointless. So you don't have to, I'm just asking you, you know? And he's like, no, I want to do this. And after that session with buddy it's just like i don't know i i don't know what happened honestly we all like started writing our gratitude we started um, thanking our angels for everything we started realizing how much we have to be grateful for i mean there are so many other people in this country that really it's just it's heartbreaking what situation they're in yeah. So every time something would happen that would, oh, we're frustrated, oh, we're upset. I'm like, listen, we are healthy. We have a, we have a home. We have a job. We're, we are good, you know? Yeah. I'm like, please, let's not mess with, you know, all the, with, with the universe, basically, and ask for something <laughs> more to be really upset about, you know? Yeah. And uh, after that, like, I don't know, the energy in the house changed my husband changed i had already started changing which obviously the kids started changing uh also after angels like um we do like angel prayers at night we do sometimes meditations we sometimes do your books uh and now my daughter sleeps through the night i mean she used to wake up every single night and yes, i yeah, didn't yes, know yeah. what to do other than hold her and tell her you know come sleep with us it's okay so I don't know. It's just. And how um, has the relationship changed in your family dynamics? How is, how does that evolved? Yeah. It's just like, like now if something does maybe bother you, which of course here, there's so many reasons to get bothered from. We've learned how to like control ourselves. You know, like if we feel like, Oh, I'm getting upset. Either I, pull my husband back or he'll pull me back, you know, and then we come back to like, okay, no, we're good. It's okay. We can do this. We're fine. You know, so like you've, we you've are laughing more through the last uh, few months and through all the sessions and a lot of meditation, uh, yeah. your self-awareness. So your self-awareness and management of yourself. So yeah. to realize so all your husband is helping you. Yeah. It's awareness of, of your emotions and managing your emotions. And because we're not in control of everything outside of us, we're only in control yeah. of us. And, and that's why I think your husband needs to do a session because you're, you're in one pod. Yeah. He would have he been left to. out the loop a little bit, really. Yeah. I think if he didn't do it, we would have been like um, hanging Unbalanced. from one side. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Unbalanced. Unbalanced. Yeah. But also, I think what's, what's important is that you kind of understand the energy now that's yes. around you, that's in your home. So if anything that comes in that doesn't feel right, you don't entertain it. You kind of just let it move past you and you let it go through and just move on. But that's what's happened. I, I, mean, I, I mean, I'm out of the house more than him. He works from home. And a lot of times I tell him like, oh, someone came in today and their energy was off. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like I'm repelling it. Like, I'm like, uh-uh, I'm, I'm not doing this. I, I cannot, you know? I feel after I shifted my energy, 
I am not able to tolerate any negative energy around me. You know, I feel like I just want to go away. I, I, I do you ever, uh, when people come into the shop, do you ever send them angels? I, I, I do sometimes. And it's very uh, important to, because they, they don't, they don't know that they're stuck in that pattern. And, yeah. and so by just asking the angels to awaken them or heal them or send light yeah, to them yeah, like, helps yeah. them to maybe uh, shift or you're, you're sending a blessing and help to them. And, yeah. and what else did you notice? It, what else unfolded for you along the way? Um, so I know you had quite a lot. I should yeah, have kept notes, lot, really. Uh, I, I did, actually. I did. Um, uh, I think, like, one, uh, one thing also that helped me, um, I have a friend who's also living in Los Angeles, and she had told me about the books uh, by Dr. Wise, like, years ago. Mm. And I never got any of the books and a couple of months ago she mentioned it again and she's like you have to read the book so i think because i was also in a different place like i had already shifted positively i felt so interested and i ordered the book and i read the book and then now i have like three four other books of his i've gone through the i like i read them like i can't wait to finish the book i'm mm. so attached to them and I'm so, I mean, I don't know if, um, I mean, lots of people know about him, I guess. Um, Brian Wise like he, is his name. Yeah. He Brian likes, Wise, yeah. Many Last Many Masters. Have you, have you read that one? That's a good one. Yeah, she's, yeah that's, she's a, that's the one I started with. Yeah. So I've always been interested in like uh, my past life and how was it and whatever. And obviously, I don't know how to even reach that, you know. And when I read his books, I got so excited and I started researching online, like, is this a thing? I didn't even know it was an actual therapy, like past yeah, life geez. regression therapy. I didn't know. So I just started like Googling um, uh, regression therapy Lebanon. You know, I'm like, I'm like, I highly doubt I'm going to find anything here. <laughs> and then I ended up finding a lady who was actually trained by Dr. Weiss. Like, wow. I was like, what are the chances? And, and I messaged yeah. her and then she called me and I'm like, are you in Lebanon? Because I'm like, I thought she might tell me I, I used to be, but now I'm not or something. And she's like, he was my teacher. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, this is, I was just laughing with her like a little kid that I, like I discovered something, you know, and she sounded amazing on the phone. I felt like we had a connection instantly. Like, it's like I already knew her. I didn't feel uncomfortable at all. So I booked a session. I did the session with her and it was really amazing. I just couldn't believe how like, like a lot of things I, I would uh, search for or be interested in or ask for would start popping up. And I was, I would journal, journal write, like, I, I mean, I learned that from you, uh, and this came into my life and it actually helped me because I had a, I had neck pain since last year. Right. It was like, it's become chronic and it wouldn't go away. And after that session with her, it, uh, it got much better. And, uh, and then I did another session with her, which also I realized that even helped my neck even more, you know, all these healing sessions. So I don't know. It's just like this one thing happening that after another and, um what was another like really really like i think the nice. other one was because i used to talk to you about my crystal bed and you're doing coming to our meditations every friday and we do connect to that energy that healing center in brazil yeah and, i found and the she bed also the had a, a crystal <laughs> yeah. uh, bed from the same place so yeah. that that was another affirmation for you that the crystal bed was calling you and that energy was calling you and that was in your aura that was in your you know your matrix you were calling all this in like a magnet really so then you ended up on the uh, crystal bed and i remember yeah. you telling me that which i was really surprised there was one there yeah because when i walked into her room i look i'm like you have this bed because i also searched for that online and i didn't find anything in lebanon Oh, so and she's like yeah i brought this with me back from brazil you know mm -hmm. and and I told her, I said, uh, I told her about you. I said, I, I speak to uh, someone in, in Los Angeles. Her name is Terry. I'm like, and she does the healing bed. And so she told me, ask her if it's the John of God bed. And I had never heard of John of God 
as well. So I'm like, okay, I'll ask her. And then when I told you about it, you said, is it a John of God bed? I'm like, yes, you know, <laughs> like it's just, it was all happening. So and you were meant to, yeah, so it was all like interconnected for you, the whole experience. And yeah. and how do you find now what in your, when you're going to work, do you find that, because I think with all your angels and what you're doing, and you, I know you listen to our podcast on the way to work as well, because you're Definitely. you're bringing in that positivity. Do you find that the the clients or the energy in the shop has shifted? Yes, because you know what's funny. The other day, one of my customers, he's a regular. He walks in, and he looks at me, and he's like, "Something's wrong here." I'm like, "Something's wrong." I'm like, "I think you mean something's right." <laughs> and then he's like, "Yeah, something's wrong in a good way." I'm like, "No, no, wrong cannot be in a good way." <laughs> <laughs> you need to say something's right. And then he just starts laughing. I'm like, I'll tell you what it is. I'm like, it's the energy in the shop. Right. He's like, yeah, because he walks in, I'm laughing my head off. And I'm just, like, nobody is used to me being like that, you know? So when they come in, we start joking, we start laughing. Everyone leaves in a good mood, regardless of, you know, everyone going through such a hard time. And uh, one of my customers walks in, uh, he's young, he's about 21. And uh, I was asking him for his phone number. I'm like, I need to change the phone number so I can put it in the system. And he gives me his phone number. And then the last three digits were triple four. And I don't really, I mean, not every customer I walk in, I talk to them about angels or say, ooh, this or ooh, that. But a very select few I have mentioned. And this guy I had never seen before. And I'm like, oh, your phone number ends with triple four. And he's like, yeah. I'm like, that's an angel number, you know? And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and then, Did he know what you meant? Had, no, the, that's the thing. So he's, he looks at me, he's like, yeah. I'm like, what do you mean, yeah? Did you hear what I said? Because I was like, oh my gosh, why did I say it out loud? And then I'm like, I'm saying this is an angel number. And he's like, yeah, that's me. I'm like, what do you mean that's you? And he's like, my name is Angelo. Oh, God. Oh, like, wow. What? And I'm like, no. I'm like, are you joking? And he's like, no. I'm like, is that really your name? Oh, he God. said, yes. My is name is Angelo? Angelo. Yeah. And I'm like, oh. I have never met no. an Angelo before. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and then oh he, just, he looks at me and then he winks and he's like, angels are rare in this world. And I'm like, oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> how, did you, how, did you, how did you feel? Because sometimes angels take on human form or they send someone in yep. to affirm what you're doing is right, to keep going. Um, what you're doing is correct. They're giving you support. They're giving you... So that to me felt like when you were talking intuitively. It's like God has sent someone or to give you that recognition. Form, or, yes. or they sent someone in there and uh, like you said, it's a new person. And it was, it was just the whole thing was very like a Pacific message for you. Yeah, How did that make thing, you like, feel? I, I just, like when these things happen. Because that's I, I profound, explain, actually. I, that's massive. I just yeah. feel like. I I, um, I want to take a deep breath. Like uh, it's like I'm so full of joy that I don't know what to do with myself. You know, I'm just like on this constant high. I'm just happy all the time. And like honestly, I can't tell you the crazy things that are happening in the country. Especially now, it's getting worse. You know, and but you've created that haven of light. And that angel came into the shop, whether it's through a person, but it was definitely a message to say, you know what, Martin, we're here. We're listening to you. You're doing a great job. Keep going. Because you're bringing in a portal of light through your shop and through your home into your country. And if more people did that. So if what message would you have? Because hopefully many people listen to this in your country. Um, what message would you have for them at really at this time? What, what would you say to them? Because we don't live there. But he's visited yeah. many times, but, you know, we don't live there. So, I mean, it's just 
I know how hard it is and I know how frustrating it is and it's very hard to smile these days. I mean, we, we don't have gas, we don't have electricity, we can't fill up our cars, the queues are like down the whole entire mountain waiting to fill up gas and they fill up only this much. People are pushing their cars to the gas station because they ran out of gas and it's just the stories that you hear how like our, I don't know if you know also the dollar rate has gone up like insane, you know, people still here get paid in Lebanese pounds and they cannot afford this crazy inflation that's happening. Supermarket prices are like through the roof. People now have to choose, can I eat bread or can I not? Can, you know, it's gone down to uh, pharmacies are out of medication. Uh, people are sick, they can't find what they need. Babies need formula milk, it's out of stock. It's just insane, you know, it's really insane. and. I feel with them and um, I mean, I'm going through this whole thing with them, but for me and for my family, I chose to, I need to protect us. Because of the, the ongoing um, history of every country, we can carry that story. And you, you're showing that you have shifted vibration and your thought process has actually shifted the whole dynamics and the whole energy that you're living in into a whole different vibration. So you're not coming yeah. from a lack of scarcity or, or need, but you've took back your own power. You have took your power with the divine, not a power that's coming from an outside source from the government or wherever ever else you've actually brought that energy into that source energy into yourself, into that alignment and using it. That's how powerful we are. So yes. you've took back your own power and you're not living under the influence or energy of a government. So you've more or less stepped out of a matrix control and took control of yes. your energy, yourself, your family, you know, your, your home, your work environment, you know, so you're amplifying and you're bringing in all this light. And and I, I feel that if more people did that, because you're an example, you're there. It's not as easy for us to say it because we're not there, but you're actually there. You know, You've in that environment, it. she's worked with it, she's working yeah. at it, she's maintained. So it works. It works 100%. Yeah, you're proof that it works. I've and tried, like, uh, for the people closest to me, I've, like, I feel selfish keeping the information to myself, you know, so I try to tell them, oh, this happened and I learned this and I learned that and I'm trying to share as much as I can. I agree. I think pass on as much. One, you're setting up the light from in your shop anyway. So anyone that's coming in there, you know, always send them angels and flood your shop with angels as a gateway of light for the angels to come through. And, and so that whenever anyone's coming in, we'll automatically receive that light and that healing. Um, and I, I, I think that, you know, any, we're all here on this planet to help one another, whether it's yeah. one word, like you said, that person said one word, or we said one word, or it could be something from a book or, you know, at the end of the day, we're here to help and assist each other on this journey. And, and any information or wisdom or knowledge that you've learned that we pass on, just like our ancestors have passed on, that we are now yeah. picking up these spiritual books. You know, uh, it, it's basically in that alignment. And for you to any wisdom or knowledge or words that you give to them is reminding them to awaken, to think, oh, hold on a sec. You know, what's what, what's that? You know, so you're reminding them how special they are, the light and the power that they carry. And through your stories, you know, helping your country to. But also we're not evolve. alone on this planet. There is help out there. Yeah. from the divine from yeah, the yeah, universe yeah. and once we shifted our thought pattern and once we shift the vibration and the energy around us it's there to support us 100 percent. and you have true true a true reflection from that you've got a, a true understanding now how important that is and, that, and you've changed that for your family for your business um so who's best to tell these people you know so it's like 
you could send as much angels as possible, but also it's, yeah. it's our choice at the end of the day. And that's where, exactly. that's where the, the, the whole concept of, 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 of choice came from is like, yeah. we have that choice within us. That's the thing. Not everyone is. And uh, you had discipline. You have discipline. You have to have discipline. Yeah. I just like, I'm like, I'm doing this. It, there's no other way. <laughs> it has to work. <laughs> you know, I mean, I went and bought like five Himalayan salt lamps and my husband's like, what do we need all this for? I'm like, whatever it takes, I'm going to do <laughs> something needs to change here. <laughs> I'm starting from our house, you know, I'm like, just, I'm like, we have to do this and it's going to happen. And I'm buying the lamps and he's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know do you have one but, in your do you have one in your shop oh no actually i don't i should buy you should one put one in your shop uh, for anyone that's listening in the himalayan salt lamps you can look them up online because the energy healing of these lamps is phenomenal and there's just so much that they offer yeah. that I, i'd be here all day reading it out but if there's any really uh, sorry I'm darling I was just saying, like, I'm, I'm really lucky that my husband actually supports whatever I come up with and want to try or want to change or want to do. Like, he doesn't block me. Well, he must notice that there's a shift. So he's thinking, oh, I'm going to go with it. I'm sure. Yeah, he's seen it. Sometimes but when he's off, I just tell him, I'm like, listen, please go inside, recenter yourself and come back and talk to me. <laughs> he just looks at me like, really now? <laughs> But it's important, yeah, as a, as, a, as a unit, as a couple to work page. together and to be on the same yeah, page. Yeah, yeah. So many couples are not on the same page yeah, and that's where the issue comes work, in. Otherwise. You know, it so work. it doesn't work at all. You have to be on the same page. It's a, it's a, yeah. it's a, it's a team effort. It's a, and you have to be really authentic with yourself without judgment and authentic yeah. with one another and honest with one another and honest and authentic with those around you. That's another important um message i think definitely that yeah. a lot of people you know through their work or through family or through education or whatever you know they take on what they think they should show to the world or mm. approval or you know it is the fact that you're always you and you're always real and you're always authentic that's also a very big key you know to that yeah, definitely. just honoring i mean I, i'm already you. that type like i can't um i can't act you know, um, like yeah. if I'm in a bad mood, everyone knows I'm in a bad mood. <laughs> if I'm a good, in a good mood, everyone knows I'm in a good mood, you know, so I can't, I can't but be just like honest and, you know, real, basically. So, is, is there anything uh, you would like to say been, before we, we finish this session? Is there anything else that you would like to share with the listeners or anything at all? um well i mean i think there's quite a few things maybe that i haven't mentioned maybe it slipped my mind or something but i mean i just want to tell them to like believe that you know we have angels around us and we have like a higher power there waiting for us like to ask for help you know and it it, it can come true because it did with me uh, and it did with my family as well you know and and they just need to believe basically but and that's the thing like even if i tell people about this if they're not ready and if they're not wanting it it just passes by you know so uh, they just need to really want uh, this positive change even though we're going through crazy times in this country but i mean better to be in a positive bubble well, than well to eventually be if they get in depressed. that positive bubble like you said through joy or appreciation and gratitude of the beauty of them around them it will change the vibration of the country it will change the old pattern that it's on through the people taking you know giving the people the power to do that completely agree with back you. to themselves 100 percent. so thank you so oh. much um martin um, we truly appreciate the fact that you were on our podcast today. Um, it's been it's okay. phenomenal. Thank you so much. There, but it's okay. But yeah, do you have you, a, yeah, do you have something small in Arabic you want to say out in Arabic just for for our listeners based in Arab, based in Lebanon or Dubai or Saudi Arabia? Anything or, at all? Anything is there small? Any, is there anything? Or even if there's a I don't, I don't prayer know word how to, or something or I don't know if I know how to explain myself properly in Arabic. Honestly, <laughs> I don't want to say the wrong things. 
<laughs> I'm not that great in Arabic, so I don't know. No problem. I don't, no I don't know what to say. No problem at but, all. But um, I do want to say thank you to both of you, and um, you guys like created a huge shift in our lives. Honestly, like from one small thing to another, and then it became this whole like all I can say like a golden bubble. You know, it's just amazing. And uh, like without meeting you, I don't know how I would have reached this point. So I owe a lot to you guys. And I really, really thank you from the bottom of my heart for everything. Well, thank you for that. And the only thing that we ask is that you pass it on. I'm trying. Because that's what we do <laughs> is meant to pass it on. But thank you I'm for trying. your kind words. Whoever and... listens. We acknowledge, you know, your gratitude and we thank you for that. And, you know, we're blessed that you and your family are in our life and you come to our meditations when you can and, you know, spreading angels and light into Lebanon um, at this time, which is, is very important. They really job. need it, man. I really hope something, I don't know, like Lebanon needs a miracle, honestly. Well, I think it's, if enough people get together and ask for one, there'll be one, but it has to start yeah. with them. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you so much, Martine. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you, darling. If you're interested in, in connecting with us, please feel free to email us at the info at the magical medicals podcast.com. That's info at the magical medicals podcast.com. And thank you so much for joining us today. Bye.